Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. And we have a gift that keeps on giving, and that is the Colton Underwood story here that he said nobody supported him except Chris Harrison. And everyone's like, I got receipts. So Nick on air, Nick Vial on air, reads the receipt, the text that proved Colton lied. He said, congrats, bud. Hope you're in a happier place. I'll tell you what Colton's response was. So this actually happened. Now, the question is, did Colton ever say that nobody reached out to him? Or is this sort of a story we're all running with? I'll share all of that with you guys. Do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Like this video. And if you enjoy my content and you want to support, we've got Patreon lunchtime live streams. Next one happening is tomorrow, Thursday at noon Pacific Standard Time. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. That's a private membership only community live stream. All right, so let's get into this story. But first, I want to thank everyone for my little race I've got against Nick Vial. Now, he doesn't even know we're doing this here, but we're trying to pass him in YouTube subscribers. We're only 400 away, so make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Of course, it's all in good fun. Definitely continue to support Nick. Of course, you know, uh, we get all of our um, tea from him right now. So let's get right into it. Now, if you don't follow this story, uh, last week, uh, ben, on his podcast, uh, I believe it's called Almost most famous with Ashley I called Colton a liar. Colton, he says, it's just a lie. Are you trying to make everyone else look and feel bad in response to Colton on the docu on his docu series saying no one reached out to him? Now, this didn't actually happen. All right. So this is sort of, I guess, a logical fallacy because we have a flawed premise. So we have, we're going to share with you Nick responding to to what Ben said, and it's kind of like a human centipede of misinformation. Here's what Colton did say, and you guys can decide for me if you want to piece this together as Colton being a liar. Colton said this. He didn't say this on the docu-series. He said this in a press interview. I don't watch the show. I mean, the only person that I really talked to is Chris Harrison still. Chris and I stay in touch. I will say this, since Chris was about the only one from the franchise who really reached out and sort of let me know that he was there for me, asking if there's anything he can do. Unfortunately, I don't have any relationships in the franchise anymore. Um, what do you guys think? Does that mean that no one else reached out to him? Again, I'll say it one more time. Chris Harrison's the only person he talks to still. So it's sort of a gray area, but I can understand how Ben Higgins would be upset because Ben Higgins, and if you want to go watch that video, you can go back to it. Ben Higgins says, I got him a book from a guy who was Christian who came out. So I, get, I, I sent him a book. Uh, if that's not reaching out and like offering support, I don't know what is. And Colton's idea of support might be somebody who's like there on the day to day. But clearly the people that are offended, uh, which would be like a Ben and a Nick by, by Colton saying nobody reached out. They're, they're offended because they're like, you're making it look like no one supported you. You're jockeying yourself to play the victim here. Let's play what Nick had to say about all this. Again, a lot of this, uh, I'm not saying is wrong information, but what Colton actually said in all of the different interviews he did was that um, Chris Harrison's the only person supporting him still. Again, I'm not defending Colton here. I'm just not sure if like everyone has all the information. But it still is fascinating regardless that Nick can be like, all right, you want to see it? All right, here it is. You know, don't we don't we love this world we live in where we have a stenographer attached to our phone? And we're like, all right, here it was on the morning of January 3rd, 7.30 a.m. You know, we can just check it out. So that's exactly what he does here. Have a watch. Ben Higgins calling out Colton for saying uh, that Colton was like the only person who's, you know, I'm in touch with in Bachelor Nation right now is Chris Harrison. He was like the only one to reach out to me like when I came out to offer his support. And Ben Higgins was like, I reached out to you and like fully sent you a book that was like how to come out in a Christian environment, like was trying to help you. And like, so Ben's His like, comments say otherwise. He's yeah. Not like commented. I didn't even think I saw some comments that even said like, just sent you a DM or something like that. Yeah. So, so yeah. clearly Chris Harrison her. was not let the let only look. one to reach out. Let me look for mine. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Yep. Oh, let's see. April 14th, 7 30 AM. I don't know. I don't know if that's the the day of his Good Morning America appearance, but I'm, I believe it was. Uh, congrats, Bud. Hope you're in a happier place. That seems like a reach out. If I with a heart, that's he a hearted it immediately. That sounds like support. If I again, so the question now is, did Colton say nobody reached out to him? And again, I don't mean to be like super like uh, litigious here. He said 
since Chris was about the only one from the franchise who really reached out and sort of let me know that he was there for me, you know what? I mean, you could look at this both ways. He, he kind of contradicts himself, you know? So I guess you can understand where these guys are coming from. We're saying, no, 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 lots of people. I'm, I'm sure dozens of people reached out to Colton. I've ever heard it. So he, he saw it. Absolutely. And then said, thank you, man. I'm doing so good and happy. I said, great to hear. Rooting for your happiness. Boom. He's, He's just a damn. liar. Does he have your contact saved as Chris Harrison? Maybe was that the confusion? Ah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. It was. It was <laughs> trying to think. Here. It was a DM. Okay, it was on Instagram. Great. I don't know. It's uh, weird when people lie about little things. They don't need to lie for attention. But, Are we ready yeah. for our final? So that's it. More. of the week. Yes. So you know, we broke down the whole Caitlyn, Tasha, men tell all situation. Tasha, tell, tell you're not wearing your ring. Whatever. This girl Morgan, who is um, makes videos about pop culture, basically posted that moment on her Instagram story. All right, we'll we'll get this into a separate video. This is a whole other topic here. We have so much to cover. So again, I don't, I, I I I agree with Nick here that Colton is finding reasons to lie. I'm also giving Colton the benefit of the doubt that he did so many different interviews. And I know this is me. This is me going out like on a limb for Colton. Why would I do this? <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm giving Colton the benefit of the doubt that some of that, that with all the different press he did, he was trying to say that Chris Harrison's the only person from Bachelor Nation that, that is stuck by his side. And does that different, is that different than reaching out? Nick reached out. Ben Higgins reached out, sent a book. That's a big reach out to me. Uh, but was Chris the only one that was like, get on the phone? And are there different levels of reaching out? With all of that said, it doesn't change the fact that Nick's got hard evidence. The question becomes the premise of whether or not Colton stands by, nobody reached out. How much of a victim was he trying to play in that moment? And we really, you know what? We really... Unless Colton decides to talk on this more, we really can't know much else. I mean, Colton says, I don't have really any relationships in the franchise anymore. So that doesn't prove the case this way or that way. But what we did see in the documentary, and I don't have the, uh, I don't have this, um, sort of uh, laid out in front of me. But what we did see in the documentary is that Colton did say people in Bachelor Nation did reach out to him. So I'm assuming Nick and Ben, you know, because Ben said, I'm not watching the documentary because X, Y, and Z. Ben says, I, Ben was kind of upset beforehand, whereas Nick's riding off of Ben's comments saying Colton lied about this. So we understand that there's several lines of telephone that happened here. And the question will become, uh, does Colton address this? Probably not. I don't think so. Um, and will we pull clips from the documentary where Colton gave them the credit that they're looking for? But then again, in that moment, in the interview, like I said, you're not trying to be too redundant here, but in the moment, in that interview, Colton said that basically nobody else reached out to him, which is not true. Henceforth, it is a lie. So Nick and Ben aren't wrong there. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. If anyone wants, you can call the voicemail line, 401-213-9828. I'll try to get to your voicemails in a future video. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.